Uh, good evening, Navika. Look, I've uh, said this before. Let me repeat it for the benefit of the viewers who probably uh, did not hear it or want to hear it again. The only thing lower than the credibility of the BBC is the intelligence of its journalists. The BBC, Navika, is a methane spewing landfill of lies, fraud and selectivity. Let me just give you a few examples out of literally hundreds. The BBC pulled down its report on Indian fake news because the report itself relied on fake news. It retracted its report claiming a protest march against bombing in Syria attacked an MP's house. It apologized to Prima for a fictitious child labor Bangalore story. It published a fake claim that India was funding MQM. It apologized for its fake report claiming live aid charity money was being used in Ethiopia to buy weapons. It retracted its fake news that a dog was stoned to death in Israel. It retracted its fake story of a Nigerian hotel serving human meat. From spurious Rwanda genocide documentary to a blatantly one-sided coverage of the recent Delhi riots. To blaming Hindu hierarchy for Muslims raping a Dalit. To claiming Kaziranga poachers were victims. To EVM hacking conspiracies. To spreading fake news about a Sikh policeman getting death threats for saving a Muslim. To calling terrorist Burhan Wani a rebel leader. The BBC has done it all for the sake of propaganda. And the supreme irony is this slander Modi who has been fact checked by the Supreme Court. But don't fact check those who they call on their documentary to slander Modi. Take Arundhati Roy. They give her space to rant. But don't reveal her psychopathic claim that a riot victim Kausar Banu's womb was ripped open and her fetus brandished at a sword point by Modi's Hindutva Brigade was authoritatively debunked by none other than the Chief Information Commissioner of India who went to the trouble of not only locating the family but also the doctor. Now finally Navika, let me come to the other issue of China and Huawei. Yes, it is totally hypocritical of the BBC to claiming to stand up for human rights when they are accepting Chinese money, albeit through ads. But when I hear BJP and government leaders saying BBC should be banned in India because it is accepting money from quote an enemy state, I want to ask, why is it that the India-China trade has been the highest ever this year despite Galwan? It has crossed $100 billion for two years running and this year it is $135 billion worse. Our exports to China have declined by 38% compared to last year. But Chinese imports have risen. Our deficit is now a staggering $101 billion. So we want to ban BBC for accepting Chinese money even as we are drowning in it. Just because the BBC is hypocritical doesn't give you the right to be hypocritical and silly as well.